what's up guys welcome back to the channel today on this video we'll be solving x and y with complex equations now as you can see we have this complex equation that you see here you can pause this video try to solve this problem and let's see if you can able to find your x and y as the one that we're going to find on this video now before we solve this problem i just like to say thank you very much guys for watching subscribing to the channel commenting and not forgetting those who like and share the videos if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel because we have solved lots and lots of questions and also previous question papers as well now let's look at this problem here before we continue though i just like to alert you guys these complex numbers that you see here they are in a rectangular form just in case you don't know much about rectangular form you can go to the description I've left a video where I introduce the rectangular form. And also that video will pop up on the top right of this video that you're watching here. Now let's look at the left hand side of this equation here. We have two rectangular form complex numbers that are dividing each other. So we'll have to simplify this one on the left hand side and also we'll have to simplify this one on the right hand side. So let's start with the left hand side. Now, guys, when you simplify these complex numbers that are dividing each other, you need to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator here. So the conjugate of the denominator is going to be 3 plus i. You only change the sign of the imaginary number and make it positive. Divide by 3 plus i. So this must give you 1. So 3 plus i divided by 3 plus i, this is at the same time 1, but these are conjugate of the denominator. So you multiply the equation there, which is going to be 2 plus i divided by 3 minus i. Guys, I've made a video explaining the division of the complex number. You can go to the description and watch the video where I explain exactly how this came about right so let's continue now on the right hand side we're just going to write it as it is for now so we have 2y minus i divided by x now on the left hand side on the numerator here we're gonna do the four so we're gonna multiply this three with this two we're gonna have six we multiply this three with i we're gonna have plus three i and then we multiply i with this two we're gonna have plus 2i we multiply this i with that i we're going to have plus i squared divide by and then on the denominator we're also going to do the same thing we apply foil we want to multiply 3 multiply by 3 this is going to give us 9 we multiply 3 multiply by negative i this is going to give us negative 3i we multiply i with this 3 is going to give us positive 3i and then we multiply i with negative i. This is going to give us negative i squared. Right. So on the right hand side, we're just going to rewrite it as it is. Just drop it as it is for now. Now we simplify the numerator there. Now when you look at the numerator, we have 6, which is a real number. And we also have the like terms here. We have 3i plus 2i. When they add, they're going to give you 5i. And then the last term, which is i squared. Now you need to apply this rule here where we know that i squared is equal to negative 1. I made a video on this where I explain all this. You can go to the description. There is a video and then that video will also pop up on the top right of this video that you're watching. We can substitute with plus negative 1. So we know that we have i squared. So i squared is equal to negative 1 divided by right so we do the same thing here we write 9 as a real number now look at the like terms here we have negative 3i plus 3i so they're gonna cancel each other you're gonna be left with zero but we also have minus i squared remember i squared is equal to negative one we substitute with negative one there we go and then on our right hand side we continue we're gonna write y minus i divided by x now, on the numerator of the left-hand side of our equation, we have 6 minus 1. These are also light terms. So, 6 minus 1, this is going to give us 5 plus 5i. Then we divide them. 
now we have 9 minus minus 1 this is going to give us positive 1 plus 9 this is going to be 10 equaling to 2 y minus i divided by x right so when it's like this now it's time for us to do cross multiplication so cross multiplication basically we multiply the denominator of the right hand side with the numerator of the left hand side same thing there we multiply the denominator of the left hand side to the numerator of the right hand side so i hope you know about the cross multiplication guys so we're gonna have x multiplied by 5 plus 5i there we go equaling to 10 multiplied by 2y minus i there we go now we remove the brackets so if we remove the brackets we're still gonna have 5x plus 5xi equaling to 20y minus 10i in order for you to group your equation is supposed to have only i and also no brackets no fraction and no light terms so let's start grouping let's start with real numbers so when we say real we're gonna only group the real numbers of these complex numbers so let's look at our left hand side the real number here is gonna be 5x this one here because it doesn't have i and then if there is no any other real number we equate them and then on our right hand side the real number is gonna be 20y now we can divide by 5 both sides and then we have x and this side we have 4y so we can see this is equation number one so we are done with this real number grouping now let's look at imaginary number grouping again guys we consider this simplified equation here so we can write imaginary so under imaginary we're just going to take only imaginary part of these complex numbers on this equation there so on our left hand side we have also 5x remember guys don't include the i because this imaginary indicates that we are only grouping imaginary numbers so i is not necessary for you to include it there right so if you don't have any imaginary number on the left hand side we equate it and then we look for another imaginary numbers on the right hand side so when you look at our right hand side we have only negative 10 then we solve for x so we're going to divide by 5 both sides so our x here is going to be minus 2 that is going to be our answer now in order for us to find y we have to substitute x into equation 1 there we go now here's our equation 1 we know that x which is negative 2 is going to be equaling to 4y now we solve for y we have to divide by 4 both sides now if you divide by 4 both sides we know that this is going to be negative 1 over 2 equaling to y so y is going to be negative 1 over 2 so guys this is how you solve for x and y for this equation just in case you want to understand the grouping method that we use here there is a video on the description where i introduce this method click on that video and also the video will pop up on the top right of this video this is how you do it all you needed to do is to simplify and then you start grouping if it so happened that you didn't understand or it is a point where you got lost go to that point rewatch the video and also if that doesn't help you you can leave a comment in the comment section i'll try to answer you to my level best all right guys but if this video helped you to understand how to solve for x and y especially when you have a fraction like this you can like the video you can also share the video to your friends if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel all right guys thank you very much for watching till next time cheers